friends, welcome back. It's uh, been quite a while that I've streamed anything. Well, I've had some just streams earlier this week. But yeah, um, well, I did say in a previous part that I would be taking a while before streaming again because of other games releasing. I kind of had a problem that uh, my computer pretty much died. So I had to get a new one in the meanwhile. And that's now a few weeks ago, everything has been set up and should be working fine. So it's time to go back streaming here. We'll be starting with some more Danganronpa as you can see now. I have some plans for some other games soon. I'm not sure how soon that's going to be, but well, we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say other than that, so um... Let's get back into it then. Um, we finished the uh, class trial last time. And that's pretty much it. We did find out that, uh, that Monokuma had someone who was working with him behind the scenes, so... Maybe we'll find out more than about that, or maybe not. Hmm, let's go then. The ending of chapter 2, yes. Hmm. Sniff. Sniff, sniff. No, it, it's you. I know I shouldn't cry, but... I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon. It, it's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Kill someone. Donuts? <laughs> What's up over donuts? I need to eat some donuts, that'll cheer me up. So yeah, I do hope the audio is fine and all that. I know my test recording seemed to be fine, so... Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled, donut holes, malasa malasadas. Mm, not sure what the malasada is. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Gods of donuts. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But for now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Grr. Huh. Grr, grr. Or whatever that sound is. What's that sound? Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. I'm super scared, but... Is... Is someone there? Huh? Is this Fujisaki's head floating in a... Locker room? What? Next generation legends, Sons of Galactic Hero. Oh dear. What kind of nonsense are we getting this time? The morning after the council of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it, expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Kind of have to get into it again. Honestly, with all the talking. Still made a mistake with that, I guess. Oh well. That's rather unusual for her. How was she so full of energy? Which is exactly what makes me worry. So it's just the seven of us then. It's that way. It's times like this where the, com the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Hmm. Or not. Hmm. Zack hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face show he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. <laughs> right, a bizarre uh, motor ride. The two of them became so close, and then he found out Mondo killed Chiro. And then, having to watch Mondo get punished and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? 
We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever going to come. Hmm. Now, I get, now I'm all depressed, just thinking about it. We simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together with bees. <coughs> Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. It's the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? We have our every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you so dissatisfied? In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that, about, that you long for? Competition, discrimination, victimization and violence. In society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, our current situation is not... Demon angel, pretty pretty princess, what the hell? Mm hmm. Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny girl, the bunny aired man Amazon, cat girl, dark boy, robot justice, the galactic king. I guess they're going on so much an anime or something. And, and. But I mean, there is no 2D here. Yeah, knew it. Ah. The mastermind put us, puts such a base and sorrow into it, our adventures, bending into their will. Okay, well, anyway, since like a like catatonic, as the oldest one here, I'm officially stopping up to take what I need. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? Well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all, there should be new places for us to investigate. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and we can look around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? Hmm. There may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Eh, no. The point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me and so I appeared. Genocide... Ah! Nobody called for you! What's a How come it's in a side jail and not a toko? God, this place is just amazing. Finally a place I can just be my murderous self. Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Oh dear. Let's have another battle to fight. The whole killer with the split personality thing is so overdone. I could have destroyed a stereotype. I will fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. But you are a killer with a split personality. Eh, uh, if she weren't here, my chances of survival would at least go up to 10%. I butchered that one. Uh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. You're just keeping laughing, aren't you? So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer. <laughs> well, I guess that's true. And after a much needed but very annoying meal, we set to do work looking around the school. Hmm. No, no one's left here. So yeah, I had to um, make sure that the game would still be saved and all that on uh, removing the hard drive and put it into the new computer, but it seems to be working all fine for multiple games, so that's a good thing. It would have been annoying if, if I would have lost my save files and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure there is probably a fast forward option or something in this game, but still, it would have been bothersome. To have replayed everything. Hmm. What is around here? So I should just check the main building. This hasn't opened up either, so. We can save files and all are fine, so that's no problem. On another note, the day after I completed Pokemon um, Quest of Clear, there was indeed an update, and a lot of things have changed. So I just basically started over in that one, so I'm not sure if I will be doing more random things of that every now and then, but 
We'll have to see. It hasn't really played it in a lot either because of the computer's business. But yeah. Hello there. What are you doing here? Nothing's changed on this floor. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. Excuse me. I guess that's probably what's there next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. Hmm, I wonder do this some pop ups pop up or not if people are playing stuff. I hope not. Uh why are the stairs again here? Oh, there they are. Let's go up to the third floor then. Let's see what else awaits us here. Third floor of Hope Speak Academy. I wonder what's we what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Mm, classrooms, a storage room and a recording room. What are those things down there? A storage room and a hmm. We'll get there eventually. Let's check this recording room. Oh, that's... Oh, so, so this is... A recreation. Oh, it's not recording, but recreation. Derp. A place for students to come and relax. I would have never imagined a school having a place like this. Well, no normal school would. There's a fellow, shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. This would certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Oh, hello. Ring, ring, ring. Hello there. Allow me to expound. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, and all kinds of magazines. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit magazines. <laughs> We'll be adding to our collection as new issues come out. Sorry, now we can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda. kinda what? Oops. Nothing, never mind. No, no. Anyway, that's it for my explanation. Bye bye. Hmm. What you just said. You know, right? It bothers me too. Life here would be so much. Life here would be that much nicer if we could add something new, some new issues once in a while. Yeah. How disappointing. Really? More and more, I'm starting to get the feel feeling that these people are just locked up in here for their own safety or something, and that the outside world has gone to shit or something like that. Seeing there was... Well, you can't provide new magazines and things like that. It's like an obvious suggestion to make. Uh, not a suggestion, I need to make to get. It doesn't seem especially important. Even a coin. Hmm. There's a copy of a dollar here, but I'm pretty bad at it though. No, that's a coin. I'm not super good at it either. It's fun, but still. It looks like some kind of bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just a decoration or something. There are monokumas in that. Mm -hmm. There's multiple things in this way. There's a table here. It's kind of similar to the desks in the classroom, but also kind of not. Hmm. What's with this Neo Monokuma sign? There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here, or was this always part of the school? No, it's a Monokuma brand dartboard. <laughs> oh dear. There's a billiards. The pool table is normal equipment. Is this thanks to Monokuma, or did the school buy this? Exit, that's uh hmm, there isn't much new here. I will find something new on this camera was. Assuming I can make it out of alive, I will never look at surveillance cameras the same way again. These monitors really are everywhere. Hmm, yeah, that seems to be no way, I can check this. A foam looking leather couch, it looks pretty comfortable. Do you have more to say or is this everything? It's much more unfortunate about the magazines, but still. I do believe our lives here will improve significantly thanks to this little hideaway. You seem really happy about it, don't you? 
So these two are classrooms, maybe there is someone to talk with here. I hope we'll find something new. But you never know. I'm getting tired of this. What's it say behind the uh I don't see what it says. Mm, nothing new to interact with it seems. Let's try it. I don't really know what's written on that bar though. I was getting bored of it, but there was some text in the lower right as well. Spare squadron, Monokuma. Oh dear, there's three of them. The windows up here are also barred with metal plates. Not surprising, I suppose. So escape still looks impossible. But I'd better check all the other metal plates again, just to be sure. This is some sort of display room, museum room, I don't know, art room? Also, why is the recreation room so small compared to the area that's blocked off? Hmm, there is a third floor though. Where does Kyoko have? So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab in the art room. There's a funny huge machine of some kind within the physics lab, so I wonder what it does. So that's where that other room is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know it. Yes, I can make it s make out of it, I guess. But oh wow! No, here we are. At first glance, this looks like any normal art room, but something about it seems off. Multiple things. Well, well, look at this equipment. I certainly, it certainly scratches that artistic, artistic age of mine. Large supplies, of course, but they also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. <laughs> Sorry, Fumi. Do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. I'm a fan of Charonbo. Pumpkin hat and. I especially admire anything that Sanumbo Rompongi makes. Jesus. Tyrambo's ability to express the movement of missiles is exquisite. exquisite. I've seen it in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculpted fairy representing the century's greatest quality. And that name I s complain about. Meanwhile, is known for its Mecha Musume series, which led to a, world to a worldwide tour. Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four, but those are two people. But one of your Elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? <laughs> Besides, the empty seat rightly belongs to me. Mm-hmm, <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as a legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. Hmm, doesn't have anything else to say. Why is there a Monokuma statue here? Is this the statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. Got quite a lot of coins too, I see. Who are painting li paintings lining the walls? Is it really odd? It just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely art. Very art roomish. It's a statue of Neo. Never really heard of anyone using Neo statues for life drawing quests or whatever. But yeah, it's an interesting statue to have. <laughs> Is this a storage room or yeah? This is sort of a repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store 
to start different parts of things. Oh, so this is a picture of Mondo on the floor and... Ayam? Sitting on the floor, it looks like a picture. But as I stretch out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Hmm. The last one in the picture was Shihiro, Leon, and Mondo. They were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after another. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How did it get developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there is no metal plate covering it. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here with Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find an answer. All these questions floating around my head were quickly found out by... Oh, hello. That's mine. Give it back. I would come a bit out of nowhere and snatch the photo. The only chance I had at answers evaporated. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped the page right out of the book to you. What's going on with the picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a sweet answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Hmm. It's an interesting picture, though. Oh, Dolly, they must be these for all the statues. Um, hmm, bunch of tools. Is this going to be the next murder weapon or something? There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they, use, they use them to make sculptures. Hmm, nothing else here. Come over here, hmm? Leave the area. Leave the physics lab and that storage room over there. There's probably someone else here with the uh, stairs to the next floor. Right? Oh. oh, no, no, there was no one. Say anything. Let's walk like it. No sense leading up, but with Kate blocking my way. So there's at least one more floor. Also different in here. Oh, it's a very different door. Okay. What's this about then? This is the physics lab. It's like a classroom or more. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. That's a weird ass chair. Well, what do you have to say? Hey Saga, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Hmm. He's just gone, gone completely silent, isn't he? What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Oh! Watch out! What? What? You're gonna do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine! Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate fish is... Fisic... Fisic... Uh, I, I can't pronounce that. Daddy, don't go here anymore. You died during the tragedy. Seriously, so we can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can. This time I'll stop Mondo for sure. Oh sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. Then... What's the use of that? It comes in handy when you like, leave your pizza and bagels in the microwave one minute along. One minute? Hmm, you sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Honestly, it's just an air purifier. An air purifier? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But what with this discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures? 
You're probably not gonna live on Mars. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your bad. This huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Wasn't that for a coin? Jeez. No, it's just a camera there. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have a clue what to start with this. What the hell is this? Oh, this is... It's a digital camera, it's got ki some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works, I should show the others later. So we got a camera. It must be used for physical experiments and stuff. Hmm. What's this, this thing on the door? in this room then. No, oh, you are. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formalde formaldehyde is almost unbearable. It's so tempting. Ah, I just want to dunk myself right in it. I don't think that's a smarter thing to do, is it? Of course, James like Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if this was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe we should head to the dining hall and talk about about it with everyone else. No, we should head to the dining hall. Oh, you could just be going there automatically? Hmm. Well, I hope you didn't miss anything. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Hey now. I tried to talk to her, but the voice was immediately drowned out by others as they came rush as they rushed into the dining hall. Hey now. Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and the crowd crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Well I can imagine. Now you're feeling better already. Yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped me a lot. You do love those donuts. But, wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Oh, my stomach act kinda made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> I guess my memory's kinda fuzzy lately. They say that the goldfish will eat however, however much food you give it, even if it's about burst. This I think is pretty much the same, it looks like. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you... Huh? Jeez, your yogurts are huge. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? Stay away from her, fiend. Anyway, the f first things first, we should talk about what we found. Right, Taka. He's come back to him again. Right. It's no use. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the first floor. In the middle of the room there was, big, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? What's something like that doing here? Is the device really that big? I really don't get it. I oh, just remembered, I saw Biaki a little while ago. What? Where? Where was he? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. Then she runs off laughing. She just ran off. I is she okay? We should not concern, concern ourselves with her. Yeah. Uh -huh. There was an art room on the third floor and all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. 
Oh, yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. A dish of a camera. That's what it seems like. It doesn't still work. Hmm, I need to drink air. It seems fine. Well then, let's see it. What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. Rose, she's not strange. She's Princess Bagels from Demon Demon Angel Pretty Pretty Princess. Oh, you recognize this, Ifumi? Hollywood. Of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize uh, super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at the big anime convention. Do you have any idea how much I had to pay that car to get my hands on it? Wait, that's my camera. What? How did you find this? In the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. How would it have reappeared in the physics lab? Hmm, but look at it. It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's... Hmm, that's it. It's not mint condition, I don't need it anymore. But why don't you just say how much it meant to you? Then may I have it, you might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. <laughs> Interesting. I searched the entire dirt floor, but all the windows in the halls and rooms were blocked off. I wish they give this a rest already for serious. Can we black my bright blue skies? Just forget about it. I make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. It would seem our escape from the third floor is impossible as we feared. I see. Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. It didn't happen to be a donut related discovery, did it? What does that even mean? <laughs> that expression, though. Never mind, it's about the nurse's office. Remember the one on the first floor, right? I remember, but it's locked. Actually, not anymore. Did you find any protein in there, or even vitamin supplements would be fine? I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine over the counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure if it's that disappointing. Mm. Yeah, I totally screwed Biakia over. I think Biakia knew exactly what he was doing. He probably went to the boys locker room specifically so he couldn't so she couldn't bother him. I think that was everything now. That gigantic machine is an air purifier. Yeah, that seems to be about everyone. Unless you something have to say something to say. Yep. Well then, um Nothing else is prompting. Oh wait, I you are hidden there quite well, aren't you? There is one piece of good news. There is just so there is just so happens to be on the recreation room on the third floor. I have no doubt that the student's life will be even more enjoyable because of it. Will someone join me in a game of propellers sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone else had to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can you guys, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird it was. A picture of Leon, Mondo and Shihiro all together. Those three. And the three of them were laughing. It showed the three of them together, laughing. Then could it have been taken? And what's more, in the picture there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. But then the picture wasn't taken here. So I don't, 
don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. You probably just imagined that when I a cast a spell on you. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here. I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and they took a then took a picture. It's impossible, after all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Come right through the screw. When we come and kill Jinko, and then there's. No, Saga. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out what. figure out when the picture was taken. Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. That seems true though. I mean, it is really weird. Forged? Is that all there is to it? Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's gold crap sidetrack you. He's right. But more importantly, on another topic, there's been something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Well then. Are you hiding behind her? This is something that's been bothering me. Well, what is it? What's bothering me, Celeste? It's about Hina. What? Me? You said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe it was a lie. What really happened? Oh. Huh? It varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell. It's something you can't, something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Whenever he lies, the tip of her nose just get a little bit longer. <laughs> no. Well, it's for real. Actually, no. Huh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. If you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina, be honest. Why are you lying about the stomach ache? Yes. Why? Why would you lie about that? Are you feeling guilty about something? No, that's not it at all. It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Well, spill the beans already. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came out and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? I saw it. I saw what? A ghost. A ghost? You mean, like, that ghost? Is there more than one ghost? <laughs> but I mean, ghosts are... I see, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not like I don't believe you, but... I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really meant that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. Um, so it happened last night. I wasn't bad, but I couldn't get sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd get some donuts. Donuts again? Can't you ignore the rule regarding night arm? I know, sorry, I feel really bad about that. Anyway, please continue. Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. You're been replaying the strange sound. Hold on a moment. Hmm. It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, and so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. Then I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt about who it was. It was Chihiro. <laughs> yeah? No way. A g g g ghost? It's simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from a weakened mental state. Then we all have to go. All we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. It's a waste of time. Maybe. But there's no harm in it, right? If you don't find anything, that will be the end of it. You're going to try and see a ghost? 
This is a really good idea. It might put a curse on you. You can wait here if you want. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. <laughs> what are you going to do, Celeste? I suppose I have no choice. How about you, Mr. Mr. Ishimaru? Are you going to wait here? I guess that's a yes. Just right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Tagen. Why do we have to drag Cthulhu into this? Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Tagen. <laughs> Shut up. What if he actually shows up? <laughs> you know, where was it that you said you hear this ghost? Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. <laughs> he just keeps saying it. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Tagen. <laughs> hey, um, what are you saying? Oh, it's an Asian chant, but simply, it's kind of an incantation. And that's why I said shut up. <laughs> he knows what's up. Hmm, come on, Mikado. Let's hurry up and get this over with. What, you don't want to summon the old one? Oh, disappointing. Let us hurry up and check that locker. The sooner we do that, the sooner we put this ridiculous story to rest. I opened the locker door and saw a bill outline of Chihiro out the locker, huh? When I said she opened the locker, we better check it out. Oh, I'm not even allowed to check anything else, come on. Now you're in front of it. Hmm, this is the locker. There's something in there. A notebook? A laptop? What's something like that doing here? I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right, I saw it in the library before. Not true. Is it the same one though? It's broken, it's right pressing it earlier. Hmm. I mean, this one looks more green. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. But I thought this was broken. I would bet that she ever fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes. Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. Mm. I'm surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Oh man, if I had a loveless clueless girl the lost clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? That's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. As a matter of fact, I one, one time I thought I spotted a grey alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. <laughs> okay. Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. Better forget all the press forever now. But listen, isn't this really strange? What is this laptop doing here? Maybe someone hid it here. If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. What difference? There is no surveillance camera. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means the master uh, which means this is the one spot where the master might is blind. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the favor of Chihiro, shining pale green. I think it would be the best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Well, let's read it. But just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but, it but the laptop definitely has power. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Alright. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly began to glow with green, uh, pale green. There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Alter Ego. It literally means I'm all itself, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it's not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. 
Could you let me see it, Makoto? Uh, with that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the alter ego, alter ego icon, and when she double clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us Master, you're here. Oh dear. Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. It's a ghost! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus, save me! <laughs> he is so funny when he's scared, man. Uh, calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. Huh? Then what is it? I'm sure if we just talk to it, we find out. Kyoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Uh -huh. I was got some brass in reducing myself. That voice, the tone and everything. It's Chihiro. Ultra Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen it seen one for myself. AI program. This is how Chihiro earned his title of ultimate programmer. Hello. Person. The, AI, uh, the AI lives in the computer and we were breathing different thoughts that gains knowledge and grows a bit by bit. Apparently Chihiro used to support a vector machine and reinforced learning to develop it. Eventually he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine reinforced learning. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. If you want to know more, just Google it, okay? <laughs> uh, but as this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. And that's why it's called Alter Ego. A fine choice, I must say. You can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. If you were to raise your own AI like that, it would make perfect sense to refer it to you as your alter ego. A second, perfect personality can, that can never forget or grow old. That's what you hear created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Anyway, so we fixed a broken laptop and put his own program on there. This is what it means, yes. Then he brought the machine to a distressing room. Where the mastermind would not be able to see it. Hmm, but you know. All about this master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. I thought you were only into 2D. This is the most excellent 2D possible. But he's a guy, and also a computer program. Oh, that aspect is no problem. <laughs> that aspect. Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. You feel me, you're too generous. Kyoko typed away with rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? I was only giving a general idea, but I do know that things have gone very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? Are you asking what the master had planned for me? Well... He wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on his laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection of them is surprisingly strong. So it's taken me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secrets. For, exa for example, perhaps the sequence of the school. While I was busy struggling to make sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked the next question. How much longer until everyone is unlocked? Uh, everything is unlocked. Um, it's gonna be a while. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so we can just leave it to me. So because of how long it would take, he had designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted, even after his death. Once again, Kyoko Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful to not let the master might notice you. Don't worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on with my using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, 
bring a scream for help real loud. That's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. That's fine during the day, but night time is concerned. Hmm, why? If we've forgotten, all our rooms are completely soundproof. Once the doors once our, once we close our doors, we can scream as loud as we want, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's night time, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. There's a good chance the master might would notice us coming all in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? Once night time comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. There's no way I can miss 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 Alter Ego yelling. But if you leave, leave your door open at night then there's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. But I'm not as weak as you might think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. Hold on, I need to check something here. Hmm, let's see. This confidence was some, somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time, different. Yet, yeah, an entirely different feel for sure. Like, someone has been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who's been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. Hmm. I was spelled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. Um. Would you mind if I asked a few questions? I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... This Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed not to know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began, began typing. Her answer was clear, concise and direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. I saw her feel kind of sorry for her. I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. It's a simple computer program, it doesn't have feelings. Are you sure about that? Anyway, that's enough for today. If you linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. Then Kyogo typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. That's a promise, okay? Bye bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. It, he seemed a bit. <coughs> was it just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Hmm. What's wrong, Hero? Oh, nothing. I was wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think I can get online from here. Well, if we take it out here, out of here, and find someone that does have online access, that's way too dangerous. The master might would find it out in no time. Oh yeah, true. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. Analysis. Hmm. I'm confident we will uncover some clue once it's finished. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can be helped. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. So, should we get going? Indeed. Goodbye, we'll be back. I promise, no oh care. Come on, Ifumi, let's go. Uh, okay. We, have, we all left the dressing room. Yeah. I'm getting a bit of trouble talking for some reason, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's been a while, but I don't know. Eh. As soon as we were out in the hall, he let out a joyful shout. Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue... Oh. Dun da da dun! He has gained ex... Has gained enough experience to level up. So, what was this awesome something? Monokuma! You guys all seem a remarkably good experience. Did something happen? No, no nothing in particular. Oh, keeping the secrets? No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. Denied, denied, super denied. Yeah, just because you're demanding something doesn't mean we have to do it. Do it? You mean like, do it? Do it? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it? Do it. You, 
crows, he said, do it. What? You said it first. We were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have no we have had another chance to relax in some time. Huh. But unfortunately the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. So we decided to rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. We now won the match for us and that's why we were also pleased. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Oh jeez, what are you gonna do right? We lost. Fair square. Well ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the wheels and the poker face didn't flinch. So she and all the girls headed back into the dressing room. Uh, um... Nuts and dammit, we totally lost. Another day without getting, uh, getting to take my very first bath here. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. We'll definitely get a bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hold on. Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. <laughs> Are you perfect? Huh? Mm, that's... You're abs absolutely right. I thought you were all about to do the... All of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I'm almost forced to ask myself. Sweetly sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go, go, go quietly back to the dining hall. Okay, let's go. <laughs> With a man's fantasy burning in my chest, I decide to head back to the bathhouse. <laughs> Have fun in your man's fantasy. Have a smashing good time. Jesus. Oh wait, hold on. Is this going to be safe a stream? Um Hold on, let's hope let's open uh OBS in the uh Oh, what did I click here? Let's open up OBS in the background to be sure if something happens. It looks like the girls had already finished changing and gone into the bathhouse. This is all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for a wheel. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The forbidden land. So, they're really taking a bath. Is that what Celeste meant about lying convincingly? Mr. Hakagure, please refrain from pointless whispering. We're deep in enemy territory here. Just up ahead is the bathhouse, and there are oasis are great dazzling passion. Oh dear. There are no fantasies in there. <laughs> you need to calm down. Try counting prime numbers. Oh dear. Uh. Can I check the chair now? No, I cannot. Yeah. Be careful, don't get us caught. If Ogre finds us, we'll be meeting up with Hades in no time. Ogre, I think he means Sakura. <laughs> Mr. Nagy, you're on point. Um, this, I guess? I placed my hands on the door leading into the bathhouse. I opened, up, I opened it gently, inch by inch. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then... Oh dear. On the other side of, this, of the thick rising steam, I saw... Mmm, well, I suppose it's safe enough. Oh, and it's, it's not even lingering on there. The game knows what's up. <laughs> Well, let's hope that no one is going to, um, Twitch or YouTube is not going to sue me or something. I'm not sure how to put it, but I always feel refreshed after a job well done. The 3D body isn't so bad in its new, new state, I suppose. But still, I just can't believe it, like, you're serious. Oh, guess a girl. This is really okay. Well... I look too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy noises growing louder. 
The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. Oh dear. Ah oh man, what a nice bath. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time is a true pleasure. Indeed. Normally, after a long bath, I'd like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... Sorry, no time for that. That's what I figured. Huh? You were just staying in the bath. Well, how it was about time for you to get up to something. After seeing how happy we were, an easy little monster like you would never let it last for long. You are so terrible to me. Sniffle, sniffle. Everyone's so called and mean. Even after I got presents for all of you. Presents? Hmm. Oh, have I got your attention? <laughs> Don't listen to the gym. Where your presents away? No questions, no dilly dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. Probably more stuff to make a skelly chawler or something, knowing him. What is it? What are you scheming this time? He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Me neither. I'm like, totally traumatized. It's okay. We have alter ego. I'm sure we'll find something that helps. He'll ha that will help us. So for now, we'll just have to endure it, come with me. Oh dear. What's up this time? Oh, those two are already here. We could be feet, we made our way to the gym, but when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. People kept waiting by the likes of you, who was the shirt. If you had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Miyakia, did you get here early? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, or right foot? Hmm. The same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. Oh yeah, she's back to her Debbie Down herself, huh? I heard what sounded like a sneeze. Then she was back to her old self. So now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes. It seems kinda late to add that in the mix. Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. <laughs> so when anyone says something mean, then you can talk, huh? Anyway, it looks like everyone is here. Which means... Let's cut some time once again. <laughs> it looks like everyone's here, so then, let's get started. Come on, out with it. Come on, out with it. What kind of motive do you have prepared for us this time? Whenever you subject us to, we will not break. Yeah, that's right. We're not, we're not gonna lose you to you ever again. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up until now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes, you've got to use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. <laughs> what the hell? So without further ado, I give you this. Ten million dollars. I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of your life. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? Hmm. So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... It's not nearly enough. When it comes to motives, money is certainly the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in the mystery novel or in the real world. But... There's no way we'd kill each other over money. He's right. Uh, she's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap. We're serious. Yeah, you're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what, we, what, you, what you do, we won't kill our friends. Come on. Stop trying to act so tough. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. When Okuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. There's nothing to worry about, right? No, nobody would kill a friend for money, right? 
If you're so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time, you can't judge, judge others by, by your own standard. Yeah, there might be someone here with having money problems. Personally, I've earned over one million dollars for my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Hey Femi, what about you? I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making er enough money to buy my comics and DVDs. Then, then... Just stop. Pressing all this about your personal finances is ugly. Ugly? Don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That's the true nature of this game. Ding dong, ding dong. That means it's my time. Yada yada yum. Sleep died and hot left the bed bugs fight. It's that time already, huh? Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I will be leaving my door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. Just because my door is open, don't assume that it will make me an easy target. Or the predator may suddenly find itself to prey. Her voice was so calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. Okay, okay, let's let everyone just head back to our rooms. And don't think about the whole money thing, you got it? Good. Then let's break. How is that? Pretty good, right, Dagger? Right. Still silent as ever. As soon as I was back in my bed, I... <laughs> back in my bed, no. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself with that. But deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about uh, having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seemed completely nonsensical, the murder can still happen. <coughs> that is the lesson we learned, but this time, this time it's different, I'm sure of it. Because the program Chihiro left behind, Ultra Ego, we finally have some small hope to clasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. Let me go my theater. Little kids have it so easy. Because they can, can put little in front of their name and right off the bat everyone thinks they're cute. Well fine then. I want everyone to start calling me Little Monokuma. See? Just by adding that my cuteness goes up by at least 10%, right? Yeah, and the world doesn't have enough Lils. The more Lils would lead to salvation of the world. Just imagine, little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment, <laughs> little hit and run, little dead tax, little great depression. Even the dark the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. Our dreams are expanding. Ding ding. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to college for tonight with this though. Unless something happens now, but I doubt it. I'm getting tired of talking so much. Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Yeah, that's my cue to stop for today. Hmm. Let's see this first. Yeah, that will be it for tonight. Could have come longer, but my mouth seriously hurts from all the talking. So I'm going to call it for now. I'm pretty sure that somewhere along the way my voice broke as well. Uh, anyway, thanks you all. Uh, thanks all for watching, and I will probably see you um, sometime soon. Hopefully, that's the plan at least. But yeah, goodbye.